they're gonna just start playing the game. Okay, so, they're going into their match. Yeah, that's right. Guile versus Boxer. I think this is probably what I would expect. Um, Mika, I think, has a pretty good word to say against Boxer too, but it is more volatile. Um, uh, and, and as things have gone on, Guile has been more and more the choice for Duke. It was, a, it was really tough, considered a really tough matchup, but I think he's settled it down quite a bit. Um, it's not just about throwing booms for him, it's about normals a lot of the time, and maybe even pressuring too. And that's exactly what he's going for right now. If you're just throwing booms, Boxer has great tools to get around that stuff, but that's not all it's about. And Knuckle Dew is really, as you can see, making that count right now. Yeah. Very quick life lead here for Knuckle Dew. Smug trying to find his way there. And the one thing about Smug is that he's definitely a lot more of a patient, precise Balrog compared to uh, most other Balrogs. But Smug has that capability. Once he does hit you, all that damage will be coming. And see, here we go, right here. Here's the rush down, and just like that. Oh, oh the last cool. one missed? Wake up. No, he had already spent yeah, trigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was he was stuck. Once that came out, he was stuck. That was kind of a hard read right there, maybe on a shimmy attempt or something like that to try to sweep him it's and very get hard the read. knockdown and then try to get some pressure afterwards. But yeah, great start to that round for Knuckle Dude, but just like that, Smug taking it. No counter hit yet, he's gonna be able to confirm off of that. Excellent, he's used that a couple of times, that sweep at that range. Just to what? take out the Sonic Boom, yeah. Oh, dashes up, gets the crush counter. That could be stunned. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. Is. But because it's stunned, the follow-up's not going to do very much damage. Ooh, okay. risk. All right, he was in trouble. Wake up with a stand short, his fastest tool. Smug takes the game. It's beautiful, too, because it's as fast as Tool. It leads into a target combo, which you can then confirm into the V-Trigger, just like that. Mm -hmm. And these two players, I mean, these two and Punk, like the three of them, are actually all really good friends, too, because the rapport that they have with each other is it's really wonderful, actually. <laughs> these guys like to mess around with each other in between matches and such, but it's all serious right now. Sticking with Guile here is Knuckle Dew. Like I said, not easy for him to zone in this matchup, but his normals, I think, do work well. And he at least has Flash Kick, EX Flash Kick, to get off, uh, to get his opponent off of him, which Mika does not have. No tool like that for her. See Spug here. Trying to get this offense going, but nice defense now from Knuckle Dew. You see right there an example of what we talked about going for the regular throw on a neutral jump. You can still get the anti air. Nice challenges. Oh, saves a lot of the Sonic Boom right mm -hmm. now. So now he tosses them out, trying to use them for offensive pressure. Wow! Just a raw jump and the cross up connected. Oh. I don't think that was even hit over an overhead, right? I think that just hit. <laughs> <laughs> like, Smug looked like doing he something. stood up and was like, here comes the overhead. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm just going to walk in. Controlling a little bit from range. And when you saw Smug had dashed up to a range where he could start doing something about those booms, that's exactly when Knuckle Dew stopped throwing. Very smart. Yeah, the dash up got the throw, and now here's this offensive pressure from Knuckle Dew. But of course, as we mentioned, this is how the first round started, and Smug was still able to come back. But Knuckle Dew, I think he's getting a better rhythm, a read on a Smug's rhythm right now. Even right there, he got the he got the throw tech. He knew exactly when Smug wanted to go for the throw. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yes, I love it. He did not even allow the activation. So smart right there by Knuckle Dew. You'd want to minimize that as much as you possibly can. He did it perfectly. Came in for the kill as well. Wow, I love the end of that round. Yeah, that game right there just was showing just how well Knuckle Dew can adapt. And his defense just all of a sudden, Smug could not break through at all. All right, here we go. Game three, crucial game number three here. Who's going to take that 2-1 lead? Love this buttons. Excellent stuff by Dew, taking up a lot of space. And this is how, I mean, even though he was more defensive in four, but this is how Dunkle has always played Guile. A little kind of this blend between offense and defense, so I almost feel like this version of Guile was almost custom made for this guy. Smug is more where he wants to be. We tried for the anti-air, but that jump short is very good. And now Smug is a hit away from doing this. What's the mix-up going to be? Even Grab may do it. Yes. It is enough. And there it is. Smug takes round number one. Round two. Fight. Ooh, patience. <laughs> yeah, neither of them wanted to commit to anything at the start. And so Knuckle Dew now is going to start up the Sonic Boom. But you can see the careful 
switching back and forth between offense and then trying to poke every once in a while with the st step kicks mm -hmm. and so bats. Yep. And check him with that standing heavy punch. So trying to make sure that Smug has to think twice about going in for the offense. That sweep has been working out so well for Smug. When he sees V skill, he then puts out the sweep because if there's a boom that comes after, he's going to beat it. Right. Trying to use the reversal to maybe stay in for pressure. Ah, this time there was no uh, Sonic Boom. Interesting little adaptation there. Mm, nice. Gets the knockdown that way and a little bit closer to the corner off of the crush counter heavy punch. But again, not going to look Ooh. at this defense that he's playing. There it is. All right, big time. This actually may be it. He's got full-on super and everything. He's going to spend it. It's not going to kill, though. So he's going to have to do Ooh, a lot it's more the work. Pixel. Oh boy. Patience now for Smug. Defense now for Smug. Can he stay awake? Can he stay alive? Interesting. I almost feel like taking it out of the air was actually a better idea. Oh, oh he went for the upside down kick, but he didn't get off the floor fast enough. Crouching light kick actually caught him. He was hoping for a grab. He was hoping that yeah. would be Smug's reaction. And if it had been, then I think upside down kick may have worked, but down short, of course, much faster than. Uh, Toward Roundhouse. So, will it be a switch to Mika? Of course, he has both of those characters. They were both integral to his run at Capcom Cup and all the tournaments that he's been to since, being able to switch back and forth between them. He tried out Guile, and like I said, I do think he plays it much better nowadays than he did before. Okay, he's gonna stick with it. He's gonna stick with it. Most of the matches have been pretty cool. Oh, look at this Knuckle Dude taking oh. off the headset. Going, okay. going the punk method here okay. now. Let's see if that works for him. Big smile <laughs> Smug, from him. <laughs> Smug's like, it's not going to help you, bro. <laughs> you see him smile looking up like, oh, yeah. Try everything you want. Very buttons -y start. I'll say. Very active start. Man, Smug is just playing reactive right now. It's Knuckle Dude presses all the buttons in his command. He gets the anti-air, he's all ready for the jumps from Smug. Smug wasn't winning on the ground, so he tried to sneak in that jump, but Knuckle Dude was all ready for it. Oh man, yeah. Clearly, something he thought about during that little time in between. I gotta press a lot more buttons. Wow, if Universal turns into EX Boom, that's cool. <laughs> that worked out perfectly for him, too. Here comes Smug. Oh, oh, he got him with overhead. Counter hit. That's going to do it. Wow. And once again, a great start from Knuckle Dude. Completely erased by Smug. Smug, match point now. He's gone in for that a couple of times to cancel. And each time, Dude has been ready. Mm, interesting. This time, that jump attack. Gets the crush counters to the target combo crush and the V-Skill ender of that target Woo! combo builds up a lot of trigger. He wouldn't have been able to activate had he not done that combo. That's right. One more mix-up and Dude's going to be on the ropes. Okay, yes. Fights out. Stun not an issue anymore. Into what? He had just built super just doing that. Great block. Yeah. The defense was perfect. Sniffed out that empty jump. Stuff to turn around. Project. There you see right there that V skill going through Sonic Boom. One of the reasons why people do consider this. Oh, he got it this time. The upside down kick works. He got the counter hit in the EX. Can he keep it up? He did. Knuckle dude stays alive, and this time it's his turn for the comeback. What an offensive series. A lot of these rounds have been very comeback oriented. Dude backing off more. It's a very different start than the first round here. Okay, just more back to it now. Gets the EX Sonic Boom once again. Sets up a knockdown, able to set him up a jump and try to push Smug out of the corner a little bit. But look at this, Smug with two throws, drops mm. himself all the way in there. And right back in. Yeah, third throw to put him right back in. Anti-Air was ready. You can see Dude really, really, really trying to be more active. He wants to be. He's in the corner now, and it's going to be hard to make Ooh, that happen. Nice timing! Conversion. Yes, that was, that's going to do it. Overhead Smug moves on over Knuckle Dude. <laughs> but these players have nothing but respect for each other, but... Mm -hmm. 
the, nothing also pleases them greater than to beat each other. Yeah, well, we were talking about NLBC and somebody who has said in the past he thought they were free. <laughs> uh, you know, that was Knuckle D who said that. But in fact, each of the three players who plays at NLBC, guess what? They 